or accept. So, for example, everyone is going outside of somebody, outside of Yara. That's wrong. You use accept or beside. So the preference would be we couldn't name we couldn't name any desert any desert except the Mojave. So here it is. The difference between outside of and beside and except. Please, please do not use outside of in place of beside or except. Simply use beside or except. Now next is 52. Plurals that do not end in S. Okay, now there are some plur plurals that, that do not end in S. Like fish. Fish, if, the, if I take the collective Sorry, the, the plural form of it, it would still be fish. The incorrect way is the teacher explained the single most criteria for the experiment. The teacher explained the single most important criterion for the experiment, which is the correct way. It is criterion. The teacher explained the three most important criteria for the experiment. So here you can see that criterion is used as a singular noun, but criteria is used as plural. So criteria is a plural noun. You cannot use it in a single way. You cannot use it denoting singularity, okay? So it is, it is not singular noun here. Likewise, there are other words that will, that have that have a, a totally different structure when they are singular or when they are plural. For example, foot, feet, tooth, teeth. For example, mouse, mice. So you have to remember that. Number fifty-three: precede and proceed. Precede means to go before something. Okay, and proceed means to move or go for. To, or to move or go forward. To go before something means that your father preceded you, like he is your precedent. So he is before you. For example, if something is happening before the other thing, Ramadan preceded the Eid. So this is how it goes before Eid, okay? But proceed means to go or move forward with something. Like I proceeded my truth, like I or I went forward with it. For example, pastor's research preceded in lectures by five years. It means that pastor, pastor's research came five years before lectures research. So there is a gap here before because it came before it is. Before, because it came before, so it has preceded. Both men proceeded to investigate germ theory. Both men proceeded. They, it means they moved further or they went forward to investigate. So they did something ahead. Okay. So there is difference between proceed and proceed. Next, number 54. It's principle with AL or principle with LE. <clears throat> now, the principle with AL, it means the most important or the chief or the main. Why do we call principle as principle at school? Because that person is in charge of most of the things that are happening in the school. That's why we call him or her as principle with AL, okay? AL. That means, that means, the main or the most important or the chief. As a noun, it means who has controlling authority, as in school. But principle with LE is always a noun that means a fundamental law. Anything that is a principle means it is a basic law, it is a fundamental law. For example, the adjective, the aorta is the principal artery in the body. It is the principal, it is the chief, it is the main, it is the vital. As a noun, I can use principal again. My principal is blah, 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 whatever. Okay, 
Now, as a noun with LE, principle, which means a law, a fundamental law. The company agreed to follow the principles of proper waste disposal. So the principle of proper waste disposal means they agree to follow the law of proper waste disposal, the basic, the fundamental law. <clears throat> if you have any question about principle and principle, you can ask me. Next is 55, which is real. Real means very authentic. So please avoid using real to explain very or really all the time. If something happened extremely, do not use it real. It happened real bad. That is a wrong way to use real. Incorrect way is the crowd was real disappointed. Either say really disappointed or simply just replace it with a, with a good adverb. For example, the crowd was deeply disappointed, extremely disappointed, but do not use real to mean really. Number 56 says, it says, says should not be used as a substitute for said. The incorrect way is, then the emperor says, this is incorrect. Let the game begin. We do not use say. Say says in the present form. We do not use it in the present form, in the present tense. Then the emperor said. So avoid using says all the time or using verbs in their basic form or you can say in the present form all the time. You have to use verb according to according to uh, uh, your uh, your time according to the time you are referring to. If it, has hap if it ha has happened in the past, please use all the tenses in the past tense. If it's happening now, use in them in the present tense. Or if it will happen in the future, use all the future tenses. So please be careful of using the verbs in correct form of tense. <clears throat> Next is 57, which is seen. Seen is a past participle and must be used with the helping verb. It can never be used alone, like any third form of the verb, any past participle of the verb, like drunk, drink, drank, drunk, drunk. I cannot use drunk alone. I always have to use it with either has, have, or had. A helping verb has, have, or had. In the same way, we will use seen with had, or has, or have. For example, Stephen seen his brother in the crowd. No, Stephen had seen his brother in the crowd or has seen or I have seen something. Set and sit. I mean, this is very silly, but still um, I, um, I would confess it that a lot of students do this mistake, which is number 58. They most of the time write sit instead of set and set instead of sit. This is something really important here. Sit means to put something in a certain place. Like please set the table, or for example, set the jewelry, or set the makeup, or set the books. Anything that are asked to be set means put them in an organized way, in a certain way. But sit means to sit, to be seated. So, number 59, so. Avoid using so when you mean so that. Sponges use filters so they can eat. No, so that they can eat. So complete, uh, so use the correct conjunction. Then we have than or then. Now than with a is used in comparison. For example, she is taller than me with a. The, mo the mosque is farther than my school with A because I'm comparing two things. I'm comparing, okay? Whether two things are more than, but I'm comparing. So whenever you're comparing, you use than with A. But then means to show time, to refer to time. For example, Daniel is more graceful than her sister. I'm comparing who's more graceful. So I'll use than with A. But in the second one, First, she studied ballet, then 
she took jazz class and here it's referring time like what happened after what okay so when you have to tell what happened after what we use with e then then she came then i ate then i slept <clears throat> Hi, I, uh, hi, Tala. Is everything okay with you? I haven't, hi, Miss. I haven't seen you in a long time. Is everything fine? Yeah, Miss. Um, I've just been busy these uh, like few, few days. Is, is family fine? Yeah, yeah, I guess. What do you mean by get, I guess? Are they not good? Are they, like, they are okay, they are well? No, no, they are good. Right, right, okay, thank God. Okay. So let's move on to the next one, which is 61, that, which, and who. Now that and which we use as the uh, relative pronouns to refer to non-living things, okay? The book that I read, or the food, the sandwich that I ate, or or <clears throat> the car which I drive. But who is always used to refer to people only, okay? The girl that I met, no, it's better that you use who here. The girl who I met. So here are the examples. I went to the exhibit that you told me to see. The walls which were painted bright. I admire the artist who painted the work. So here you can see the difference. That, uh, that you can sometimes use for both living and non-living, but the standard way is this. You use that and which to refer things and who to refer people. So here is the next one, 62. We are about to finish this. There, there, and they are. Now, please, look at their spellings and do not do mistakes with these three words. But, um, now, two of them are pronouns, which is T-H-E-I-R, there, and the uh, third one, T-H-E-Y, and then apostrophe R-E. Now this is a contraction here. The third one is a contraction of they are, okay? There are two words, they and are. But in the first, the first word is there, which is a possessive pronoun. For example, my book. But for the third person uh, plural, it would be their book. So please do not do these mistakes with there and there and there now in the middle one that is this is there t-h-e-r-e -E. it is an adverb showing where okay <coughs> where did you place your keys i placed them there there means in that place okay so there is hinting at a place it answers where where are you where are you going i'm going there it is an adverb it doesn't give a specific answer because it shows only uh, it gives only a hint of where but it doesn't uh, if you replace it with the noun it would be it would become more specific but but as an adverb it's okay like adverbs are like that it, it answers the question where but there with eir is possessive please their school their car their parents, their families, but they and apostrophe R, uh, they and apostrophe R E is the contraction of they are. They are reading, they are learning, they are sitting, they are eating, they are sleeping. So that's the difference. If you have any problem in this one, please ask me. You can just write your question in the chat box. I'll keep reading. Okay. Next is. <clears throat> them number 63 them do not use them as a substitute for those a lot of people native people even do this mistake so them horses are extremely fast it is not where it is not the standard way the standard way or the preferred way is 
those horses are extremely fast. 64 is 2, T002 and TWO2. 2 is the preposition with 1 O. 2 is the preposition with 1 O. T002 means as well. Okay. And <clears throat> and TWO2 is a, is a number. So the preposition to the ocean floor, to the shore, infinitive to swim, to fly. It it, when it comes with the verb, it is an infinitive. When it comes with a noun, it is a preposition. Adverb too tall, she was too quickly running to, so here it can be used as an adverb to, or to denote also, like she's coming too, she's coming also. And number two of obviously, like there's nothing to explain here. 65 is when or where. Do not use when or where immediately after a linking word. Do not use where in place of that. Night is when you can watch fish speed. On the beach is where turtle. There's no use of when or where here at all. Okay. Night is the time you can watch fish feed. And the preferred way to use where is to you uh, to avoid where is on the beach is the place turtles lay eggs. So it is not like on the beach is where the turtle or night is when you can't no, it's this is not the correct way. Although we use it a lot in our daily speech, but this is not the correct way. So night is the time, on the beach is the place, turtles lay eggs. <coughs> Now here is the exercise, okay? I will give you the answers. Uh, it is page 542. Please try to solve it by yourself, both 21.2e and 21.2f. Here are the answers. You can just solve them and tell you your answers from here. Take a screenshot. If you want me to pause for some time, I will pause. Please take a, either a screenshot or just go back to YouTube to watch the video later and solve the exercise. Okay, now next is capitalization. Okay, it is page 545, capitalization. Now, capitalization in sentences. Rule number one. Now, the, the, the whole chapter is divided into rules. Okay, now rule number one says, Using capitals for the first words always, which you have been learning from since grade one, I guess. So always capitalize the first, uh, the first word in declarative, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory sentences. Always cap capitalize the first alphabet of the first word in a sentence. Okay. You can see here the examples. Rule twenty-two point one point two. Now, rule number two says, capitalize the first word in interjections and incomplete questions. For example, in interjections, if it is, oh, wonderful. If there is uh, an exclamation mark after the interjection, oh, the next word that you're going to write will be capitalized. Also, along with the interjection. Obviously, interjection as it is the first word, but the next word would also be capitalized because it is after the exclamatory if it, is after, it is after the exclamation mark. Like here, O is capitalized and then wonderful is also capitalized. Incomplete questions like where, question mark, and then what time, question mark. So actually two questions running along. So we have to use, we have uh, two question marks and after each question mark, we will capitalize the next word. Okay. Now, rule number three, always capitalize the pronoun I. Troy and I. I is never written in the smaller case. It is always written in the uppercase. It is always written as capitalized, okay? 
no matter where it's coming in the middle of the sentence, in the end of the sentence, or in the beginning, you always capitalize I. <clears throat> now, capitalize rule number three. Capitalize the first word after a colon if the word begins a complete sentence. So when you have a colon here, okay, when you have a colon here, you have to see what is text. If it is a whole sentence, you need to capitalize it. Okay, but if there is a list of something which is a continuation of the previous sentence, then do not capitalize. For example, in the first sentence, he repeated his comment breathlessly. He was unable to continue running. So he was unable is, an other, is a whole other sentence, so I will have to capitalize it. But in the next one, the campers pack the following equipment, which are backpacks, tents, and blankets. So it is the list of the things that uh, go back or refer back to the previous sentence. So here, if it is a list of something that follows the main or the previous sentence, I would not capitalize it. Now rule number four, capitalize the first word in each line of traditional poetry. So a poetry, no matter if it is the continuation of the, of the same sentence in two lines or three lines or four lines, you always capitalize whenever the line begins, okay? So always capitalize each line, the first word of each line of the poetry, no matter what. Using capitals with quotations. Now this is a bit tricky. Here, girls, are you there with me? I will end in a few minutes. Yes. I'll end in yes. Maybe in three minutes. So, Examples, capitalize, for example, when we have to get, uh, use a quotation. For example, Isla said, Isla said, I will be back in a week. Now, when I'm using Isla's word, first of all, I have to put them in inverted commas. Second, I will always capitalize the first, the first word as if, <coughs> as if it is a whole other sentence, okay? Like, I would not continue by saying that Isla, I will only capitalize Isla and then move on with all, all the smaller case. No. When I have a quotation in inverted commas, I always capitalize the first. Only and only, uh, like there is one case when I do not do it, which is if there is one quotation interrupted by something and then it continues, then the next one I would not capitalize. For example, here, just look at the second one. As the ship came flowing through the water, okay, this is all quotation, okay? As the ship came flowing through the water, it is not finished yet. It is only interrupted by what he said, and it is continuing later. Now, after he said it is continued, the crowd cheered. Now, if I remove he said, the whole sentence, the, con the, con the a complete sentence is like this. As the ship came flowing through the water, the crowd cheered. Now, this is the complete sentence. But since it is interrupted by he said, which is not the wrong way, I would not capitalize the next part of the quotation. Okay? I would just leave it like that. If it is the continuation of the previous sentence. Also, <clears throat> there's one more case that I do not capitalize which is Grant Mark remarked that this was, okay, here Grant remarked that since it is the indirect, indirect um, use of speech, uh, so I will, but they want to emphasize on the noise yes concert I have ever attended, so I will not capitalize it because it is, just an, um, an emphasize they made on the no noisiest. Okay, so here you would not capitalize. It is a continuation of Grant remark that this was blah, 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 blah. So whenever you want to put the quotation mark in this kind of sentence, just do not capitalize. <clears throat> now you have four exercises, 22.1A, 22.1B, 
22.1 C and 22.1 D. One of them is canceled, I guess, but I will still see. And here are the answers when you, <clears throat> no, I think none is, none is um, yeah, 22.1 B is canceled. So, one second. Yeah, 22.1 B is canceled, girls. So you have only 0.1 A, 0.1 C, and 0.1 D. And here are the answers. Try to solve them by yourself first, and then use this just to check whether your answers are correct or incorrect. And if you still have any doubt about your answers, you can simply ask me and keep uh, like mark down all the questions that you want to ask me later okay note down all the questions and here are the answers for the exercise on page 549 which is 22.1d you can simply take a screenshot or you can go back to the video proper nouns <clears throat> i will just finish it quickly i don't have much time i guess but i will still is it too late are you getting late for the next class Girls, are you getting late yes, for the class? What? Are you getting late for the next class? If you're getting late, I will end it now. No, no problem. We have it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have next? Arabic. Arabic. Okay. <laughs> Continue. <clears throat> proper nouns. Now, proper nouns. Um, here you know that the capitalization rule applies to proper nouns whenever we have proper nouns we, ca we capitalize them all the names will be capitalized all the names capitalize all proper nouns and uh, like uss like usa like the main street like professor Wykins, like jennifer like chicago like the red badge of courage names all the names will be capitalized now capitalize each part of a person's name even when the full name is not used like gene g rob r r r r b rig erin h s s erin h sans so <clears throat> each part of the name will be capitalized if you have like two two names in your name uh, Ayla Al Shawaf, she will not capitalize only Ayla, she will capitalize A of Al and F of Shawaf. So that's how it goes. Okay. And uh, next is now these are different things that we capitalize for proper nouns, like the names of the streets, the towns, the countries, the nations and continents, the mountains, valleys, and so any a proper noun. Or a proper name can be given to any of the things or ideas or countries so whenever there is um, a specific a particular name for anything it can be even a building you always capitalize it here is the list you can please check it later if you are running out of time <clears throat> on the next page you have more examples of it and what okay by the way Capitalizing directions. Now, this is a bit tricky. Words indicating directions are capitalized only when they refer to a section of a country. For example, the courier made his way through the south. The train stopped two miles east of the city. Now, here in the first sentence, they are talking about south alone, not telling the direction. But if it is used as a to refer to a direction, for example, please go east from here okay walk northwest from here so here i'm giving a direction when it is used as a direction i do not capitalize it but if i use it as a proper noun for something for example she lives in the south of Riyadh. she lives in south if i'm using it alone she lives in the south so here i will capitalize it capitalizing names of celestial bodies like uh, earth will be capitalized we sometimes do not capitalize earth uh, 
<coughs> except moon and sun. We do not capitalize moon and sun, but we capitalize all other celestial bodies like Mars, like uh, uh, even if they are the names of the orbits, okay? So, uh, or the name of the galaxy, like the Milky Way, we will always capitalize them. Capitalizing buildings and places. And here are capitalize the names of organization, government bodies, political parties, and there are many examples of such. But when you have a title of something, for example, at the lowest part of the page, you will see the Medal of Honor. Okay, the Medal of Honor. Here you have, you will notice that the articles or the prepositions are not capitalized, and it's okay to not do that. When you have a title, and which includes all articles also and prepositions, it is okay to not capitalize articles and prepositions. Here is the exercise 22.2a and 22.2b. I'll give you the answers here, which is page uh, on the, the, uh, the exercise on page 555. Here are the answers. Please try to solve and tell you the answers from here. And that's it. Girls, thank you for coming. Thank you.